666. This is going to be a shocking realization for most believers. The truth generally is. The book of Revelation speaks of the Antichrist. Revelation was given to John but is actually the direct words of Yahushua the Messiah. Yahushua is the actual Hebrew name that he was always called by everyone in his time. The name Jesus is a Greek name that came into use when Paul, Saul, spoke and wrote about Yahushua to the people of the Mediterranean nations who were under Roman rulership at that time. Paul was a Roman, and they spoke Greek. Yahushua was never called Jesus by his disciples, family, friends, or anyone while he walked in his time. Yahushua's book of Revelation warns of the coming of Antichrist. Yahushua was wise in hiding this realization in his book till the last days before his return as king and high priest. This is why he spoke in parables. He knew that folks would twist his words and destroy his teachings. Such are the methods of Satan. It would not be long after his resurrect Satan infiltrated the brethren and built his own church to deceive the people even till our time. A church with a different God and a different Messiah. Yahweh is an English rendering of the Hebrew name of our Creator. It could also be transliterated as IEUE or YHVH. God is derived from the God of Fortune of the Phoenicians. His name was Gad. In Fortune We Trust is written on American dollars. Yahushua was replaced with Jesus which meant son of Zeus, probably first by Paul. They Letter J did not exist till the time of the King James Bible 1611 translation. The name Isis was the new Greek messiah of this church Satan built. Just like the serpent in Yahweh's Garden of Eden, Satan moved into the church to do his continuing attempt to deceive and lead the sheep of our true shepherd astray. Such is the way of wolves in sheep's clothing. Satan is not concerned with non-believers. His target is the true children of Yahweh. Leaders hungry for power and control loved and supported this false church and all the Protestant churches that have sprung from its evil roots. It was a perfect way to control the masses. The prophets said come out of her my people, they knew what would come to pass and warned us. This shall become obvious when we understand the name of this Antichrist. Joe 537 And the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his shape. Joe 538 And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he hath sent, him ye believe not. Joe 539 Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. Joe 540 And ye will not come to me, that ye might have life. Joe 541 I receive not honor from men. Joe 542 But I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. Joe 543 I am come in my Father's name, and ye me not, if another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Joe 544 How can ye believe, which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from Yahweh only? Joe 545 Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father, there is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. Joe 546 For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me for he wrote of me. Joe 547 But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? Yahweh, I am that I am is clear about his name. And it is clear from the words in John 543 that his son would also share that name. Exo 313 And Moses said unto Yahweh, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The Elohim of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, what is his name? What shall I say unto them? Exo 3.14 And Yahweh, said unto Moses, I am that I am, and he said, 
Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. Exo 3.15 And Yahweh, said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Elohim Yahweh, of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob, hath sent me unto you, this is my name for ever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Far has many attributes of him as names, none of them were a name of pagan Greek, Roman, Phoenician or even Latin or English names, gods, or words. I am that I am is Ahai Ashurihai, in Hebrew. And the actual name he called himself and was called by was and is Yahweh. When we use the name Jesus it is a form of the name Ichthys which means fish. This was the god Dagon, of the Babylonians. Dagon was also the name of the fish god of the nine Vites that Jonah was sent to. This explains why he was in the belly of their god, yet survived to witness to them to repent, which they did. This is also the source of the phrase, Dagon it. Yet folks have no clue of that. So even our use of the fish symbol is part of this deception. Yeshua did not want his disciples to be fishers of fish but of men. This is the first thing he talked to Simon Peter about. Fishers catch with a net. Shepherds guide and protect. Psalm 23 describes this work that Yeshua does. He gently guides us to good pastures of safety from the evil wolves and snakes. We should follow his and seek the lost sheep. This is a painting I just finished. The scripture is translated to render the original Hebrew more clearly. All translations will lose something or possibly include more than what the original meant. We have gotten so used to the regular translations we grew up with that we barely even consider the meanings and depth of the word. We become blind and deaf to it and the profound implications of the truth in scripture gets lost. Keeping it in context as a whole is an important key. The Warning now we can see the true name and comprehend the impact of Messiah Yeshua's warning in the book of Revelation. The wise followers will now in these last days have the full ability to see and seek the truth of this hidden insight into the foretold beast. Messiah's name is not Jesus and most likely an invention of Paul slash Saul, with the help of Simon Peter, pagan Roman Catholics and Constantine. There was no letter J more than 500 years ago. The false name of Jesus literally translates to earth pig in Latin, sus means pig or swine and the je dash means earth in Greek.
Greek. S-U-S Sui 1. P-R-O-P, a swine, hog, pig, boar, so in Italian the name J-E-S-U-S is spelled. Gesù G-E means earth, Strong's Greek number 1053. Earth pig. In Spanish Jesus is pronounced Jesus. In English Jesus is pronounced Jesus, Old English, and Latin I-E-S-U-S is pronounced E-E-S-U-S. Yeshua said, I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not, if another shall come in his own name, him you shall receive. John 5:43. The Father's name was not and does not start with G-E, G-I, J-E, J. The first part of his name starts with Yat or I-E, in English letters. This is the same name within the name of our Savior, Yah Shua. I am including this entire chapter so we can keep the subject and the context in place. I use the K because we can easily access the tool of the Strong's Concordance to find the real meanings of the texts. Rev 13 1 And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Rev 13 2 And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, as it were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. Rev 13 3 And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Rev 13 4 And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Rev 13 5 And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. Rev 13 6 And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against Yahweh, to blaspheme his name, and his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. Rev 13 7 And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, and to overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds, and tongues, and nations. Rev 13 8 And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain foundation of the world. Rev 13 9 If any man have an ear, let him hear. Rev 13 10 He that ledeth into captivity shall go into captivity, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Rev 13 11 And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Rev 13 12 And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and the therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. Rev 13 13 And he doth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Rev 13 14 And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword, and did live. Rev 13 15 And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Rev 13 16 And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads. Rev 13 17 And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Rev 13 18 Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Six hundred and sixty-six is the marker for the Antichrist, or better translation than instead of Messiah. This false Messiah will come claiming to be Yeshua. Perhaps he has been here longer than we imagine. The Greek language, like Hebrew, is an alphanumeric language. Letters also represent numbers. 
The simplicity Simplicity of this is so profound. Let us look at the letters represented by the numbers 600, 60, 6. When we count these numbers we add them together and get 666. So, for centuries people have been looking for the number 666 to be the number of a man that is the false messiah. We find this number used continually, as if to mock us in our search. Even our modern co- used on all items for sale. Include the strange use of this number. I have been studying the scripture in the original tongues more than 27 years now and have just now realized what this number refers to mainly. Like all scripture there are of course manifold levels of meanings, it is as if the Holy Spirit is witnessing the truth to us in multiple manifestation and for many implications, spiritual, socially and politically. Also, during different generations and time periods scripture has applied itself perfectly. Many of these truths have not even been able to understand till these days. They were hidden in plain sight and we were blinded to them. If you speak Greek then you can already clearly understand the connection of these letters and the corresponding name they represent. There are tools online that one can use to hear the sound of these three letters. They pronounce Greek letters and words. I was shocked when I heard them pronounced together. Here is a picture of the actual number 666 from an old Bible manuscript of Revelation 13:16. One can clearly see that this number is represented by three Greek letters. Interesting, that these three letters were rendered together to make our symbol for medicine. The modern word pharmacy is from the Greek word that is translated as sorcerers in the New Testament. So, like I was pointing out, this number has multiple implications and witnesses in our present world age. Here in the last chapter of the last book in the Bible we see this warning from Yahushua. Rev 22:13 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Rev 22:14 Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. Rev 22.15 For without our dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. 
Rev 22 16 I, Yeshua have smangel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. We should be very weary of all medicines that are recommended to us, especially if they have psychological impact on our thinking. This number and the Greek word associated with it seem to be a warning sign to believers in Yeshua as Messiah. Please, don't just take my word for all this, Google up a Greek letter translator, so that you can hear the pronunciation of these three letters together. I was told that the Blue Letter Bible app has a pronouncer tool. I will post this in video format also on my YouTube channel, Yahweh Is, where you can hear it spoken. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash c slash Yahweh Is. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash c slash Yahweh Is. The main purpose of this writing is to point out this specific warning, which is rendered when we sound these letters together. The three letters, G11 stigma, 666, when pronounced together amazingly form the sound of the name Jesus. I know, the implications of this are staggering. Satan was so clever to use this Greek mistranslation of the name Yeshua. All major translations of canon force us to worship this Antichrist. Most of us will say but, I have seen healings and wonders and sinners saved, by this name, most of us have. Let us look at Yeshua's words for wisdom about this. I will include the entire chapter to keep this in context clear. Matt 7 and 1 Judge not, ye be not judged. Matt 7 colon 2 For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Matt 7 colon 3 And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Matt 7 colon 4 Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and, behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Matt 7 colon 5 Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Matt 7 colon 6 Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Matt 7 colon 7 Ask, and it shall be given you, seek, and ye shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Matt 7 colon 8 For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Matt 7 colon 9 Or what man is there of you, whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Matt 7 10 Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? Matt 7 11 If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Matt 7 12 Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Matt 7 13 Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that ledeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Matt 7 14 Because the gate, and ne'er the way, which ledeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Matt 7 15 Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Matt 7 16 Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Matt 7 17 Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Matt 7 18 A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Matt 7 19 Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down, and cast into the fire. Matt 7 20 Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Matt 7 21 Not that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Matt 7 22 Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? Matt 7:23. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Matt 7:24. Therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doth them, 
I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. Mats into five and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Matt 726 And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. 727 And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Matt 728 And it came to pass, when Yahushua had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. Matt 729 For he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. I was always puzzled how folks could be doing all these great works yet not really know Yahushua. When we really know a person, we call them by their actual name. So, there really must be greater power in the real name than any of us can imagine. No wonder it is one of the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. Exo 20 colon 1 And Yahweh spake all these words, saying. Exo 20 colon 2 I am Yahweh thy Elohim, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Exo 20 colon 3 Thou shalt have no other Elohim before me. Exo 20 colon 4 Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Exo 20 colon 5 Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, Yahweh thy Elohim am a jealous El visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Exo 20 and 6 and shewing mercy on dozens of them that love me and keep my commandment. Exo 20 and 7 thou shalt take the name of Yahweh Elohim in vain, for Yahweh will hold him guiltless that take his name in vain. Exo 20 colon 8 remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy. Exo 20 colon 9 6 days shalt thou labor, and do all thy work. Exo 20.10 But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Yahweh thy Elohim, in it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Exo 20.11 For in six days Yahweh made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day, wherefore Yahweh blessed the Sabbath day, and hallowed it. Exo 20.12 Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which Yahweh thy Elohim giveth thee. Exo 20.13 Thou shalt not kill. Exo 20.14 Thou shalt not commit adultery. Exo 20.15 Thou shalt not steal. Exo 20.16 Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Exo 20.17 Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. To love someone, we must really know them. Shewing mercy unto thousands of them that love me, and keep my commandments. Exo 20 colon 7 Thou shalt not take the name of Yahweh thy Elohim in vain, for Yahweh will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Yahweh said he was shewing mercy unto thousands of them that love me, and keep my commandments. Exo 20 colon 7 Thou shalt not take the name of Yahweh thy Elohim in vain, for Yahweh will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. For Yahweh will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. This means that, if we know his true name and choose not to use it, we will not be fully forgiven. Many folks are fearful of not using the names God and Jesus because they are not what folks are used to. Folks figure that since their churches and pastors do not use the Hebrew names why should they? Mar 838 Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Luck 926 For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son be ashamed, when he shall come in his own glory, and in his Father's, and of the holy angels. Surely, this is of great importance, and since Yahushua came in the name of his father we must not take it in vain either. The name Yahushua, literally means Yahweh's Savior, Yahweh is Savior and Yahweh saves. JAS 4.17 Therefore to him that know it to do good, and doth it not, to him it is sin.
a tree and its fruit. Matt 7:15 Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Matt 7:16 Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Matt 7:17 Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Matt 7:18 A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Matt 7:19 Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Matt 7:20 Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. The perpetuation and source of this blasphemy and lie are the churches, the false apostle and also the deceptive disciple that was the movable stone that started this false religion that was built. Satan moved into folks even in the presence of Yahushua. Mar underscore 833 But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou savorest not the things that be of Yahweh, but the things that be of men. Simon Peter did not have a character that was ever inclined towards spiritual truth. As the owner of a fishing business with many boats and employees his focus was on power, riches, and control. His, name was, his nickname was Peter which in Greek meant movable stone. This was the false rock that this prophesied false church was built on. Even now they continue to cast a broad net and catch as many as possible for the tithes and power. Luck underscore four colon eight and Yahushua answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Yahweh thy Elohim, and him only shalt thou serve. Only Yahushua is the true rock and sure foundation. The cornerstone of the eternal unmovable congregation, the building built without human hands, one that shall never fall. Isa underscore twenty eight colon sixteen Therefore thus saith Yahweh Elohim, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation, he that believeth shall not make haste. He that believeth shall not make haste. We should have patience, and abide and have enduring sure faith. This entire fallen world age and even Satan are part of a pre-known process. Yahweh is all F Tau the beginning and end, he always knew what the outcome of this will be. This is all for the purpose of eternity and part of the given free will that we were created with. Yahweh is creating a righteous eternal family who feely choose good over evil. Satan is a temporary P.O.N. in the hand of the greatest chess player. Yahushua, like his father knew what would do long before he chose them. Even the prophets spoke of this. Zech underscore 13 colon 6 and one shall say unto him, What are these wounds in thine hands? Then he shall. Answer, those with which I was wounded in the house of my friends. Luck underscore 12 colon 4 And I say unto you my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. There are so many sheep among these wolves in sheep's clothing. Simple believers who never find the time to search these things out. Say many of us so busy driving, the concerns of this world. Pastors are fearful of losing their followers, the tithes and monetary support to keep their churches open. So, they preach a watered-down tolerant gospel. Indeed, Matt 7:13 Enter yet in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Matt 7:14 Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Matt 15 Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravening wolves. 
Think of the vast wealth and power of the Vatican and even the Protestant churches and consider these words from Yeshua's brother James, the true leader of the small first, house, churches of believers. JAS 2,5 Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him? JAS 2,6 But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you? and draw you before the judgment seats? JAS 2,7 Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by the which ye are called? Does this not perfectly describe what is happening now? The Vatican, and all the children churches of that whore, judge, oppresses the poor, and blaspheme the holy names. As a musician I am always fascinated at the amount of emotion and power that takes place in these modern churches. Young folks dancing and crying, hands raised, it seems like amazing pure worship. The more I consider the underlying lies that are being perpetuated the more I see the sorcery and the spell that is the unholy spirit of Satan. These worship songs are usually a few words repeated over and over, building to a crescendo. Like a pagan chant, hypnotizing these masses. The wide gate is intoxicating and addictive. These songs soothe and open up the emotions for the preachers to come in with a very politically correct, teaching from the scripture. Ever notice that the more the music is long and emphasized the more watered down and simplistic the message is? It is a broad net that is cast and it catches many fish. Sheep are not caught, they naturally follow a good shepherd. Remember it is a narrow path that leads to truth. 666 and the unholy name it forms has become a false religion, the great whore, a beast. The Vatican is an actual nation and the holders of the most wealth on earth. The richest bank. And power. I cover this in more detail in other books. We need to understand start seeing the blasphemy conspiracies of Satan. If we do not think Satan is the father of lies and not at all afraid to use them, then we are underestimating who he is.
Blasphemy G988 Beta Lambda Alpha Sigma Phi Eta Mu Iota Alpha Blasphemia Blasphemia from G989, vilification, especially against God, blasphemy, evil speaking, railing, insulting, showing contempt, and lack of reverence for Yahweh. A friend does not do these things. It is no wonder that Yahushua says I never knew you. It is not enough to believe he exists. Faith without works is dead. JAS 2.14 What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith, and have not works? Can faith save him? JAS 2.15 If a brother or sister be naked, and destitute of daily food. JAS 2.16 And one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? JAS 2.17 Even so faith if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. JAS 2.18 Yet, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works, shew me thy faith without thy works, and I will shew thee my faith by my works. JAS 2.19 Thou believest that there is one Elohim, thou doest well, the devils also believe, and tremble. JAS 2.20 But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? It is clear that believing is not enough, this has been the great lie started and taught by Paul and the present-day religion and church he built. Thou believest that there is one Elohim, thou doest well, the devils also believe, and tremble. If we simply believe, we are no better than devils. Neither grace nor works alone are enough. We need to go back to our true first love and come to know him directly with the guidance of his Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. The very breath and word of Yahweh. Ruash is Hebrew for spirit, it is literally breath, wind, inspiration, word. It existed in the very beginning of creation. The creation of the world. Gen 1 colon 1 In the beginning Yahweh created the heaven and the earth. Gen 1 colon 2 And the earth was, became, in the Hebrew, without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Ruash of Yahweh moved upon the face of the waters. The Word became flesh. Jo 1 colon 1 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Yahweh, and the Word was Yahweh. Jo 1 colon 2 The same was in the beginning with Yahweh. Jo 1 colon 3 All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Yeshua is the Word. Jo 1 32 And John bear record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon Him. Jo 1.33 And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending, and remaining on him, the same is he which baptizeth with the Holy Spirit, Ruash HaKodesh. Jo 1.34 And I saw, and bear record that this is the Son of Yahweh. Do not take his name in vain, Yeshua alone is the Word. Matt underscore 4 colon 4 But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall live by bread alone, but by every word see death out of the mouth of a Matt underscore 13 colon 19 When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catcheth the way that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received seed by the wayside. Matt underscore 13 colon 20 But he that received the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. Matt underscore 13 colon 21 Yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while, for when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. Matt underscore 13 colon 22 He also that received seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, and the care of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. Matt underscore 13 colon 23 But he that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word, and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit, and bringeth forth, some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. The word is of utmost importance. Matt underscore 12 36 But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Luck underscore 8 colon 21 And he answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are these which hear the word of Yahweh, and do it. 
Joe underscore one colon fourteen and the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Joe underscore seventeen colon fourteen I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. One of the first things I learned as a child was that Yahushua, was and is, the word. Of course, Satan, has insulted and blasphemed him in such a core way to change his holy name and convinced folks to not use his real name. Satan fulfilled his main objective of convincing believers to worship him instead of a Messiah. It is never easy to change lifelong habits. I remember thinking I was too old to call my mother, mommy anymore, it was embarrassing as a teenager. The first time is always the hardest, after that it is like any habit. The largest problem you will face by using the real Hebrew names of Yahweh, pronounced I-E-U-E, -E, and, Yahushua, is feeling like Christians will be confused. This has changed so much since I started using these true names back in 1991. There have been holy name movements, and groups worldwide and multiple holy name Bibles written thin. Pray for the strength and courage to speak the truth. A good word to remember is Hallelujah which I always write as Hallelujah these days. It is a good quick way around a full explanation of all you now know, in quick conversation. I respond to praise Jesus or praise God with Hallelujah, which, means, praise Yah. It is amazing and of no coincidence that this Greek name Isis looks almost identical. When written in Islam. Also, the words, in the name of Allah also look almost identical in
Another strange thing is that, this 666 name, looks like XESX written backwards. Witches speak backwards when doing spells. The use of sex as a method of gaining control of the minds of people worldwide has always been Satan's main method. It is certainly profanity that this false antichrist, Jesus, looks like the word sex. Imagine how obvious this must be to Greek-speaking people. There is a light at the end of this dark tunnel. And a great blessing in eternity to all who share this truth. It is a narrow, and often lonely path, but we walk it with our brother and friend Yeshua. Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Joe 2.26 And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of Yahweh your Elohim, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Joe 2.27 And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, I am Yahweh your Elohim, and none else and my people shall never be ashamed. Yahweh will pour out his spirit. Joe 2.28 And it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Joe 2.29 And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Joe 2.30 And I will shew wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire, and pillars of smoke. Joe 2.31 The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and the terrible day of Yahweh comes. Joe 2.32 And it shall come to pass, that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh shall be delivered, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as Yahweh hath said, and in the remnant whom Yahweh shall call. You have been called. Please subscribe to my new really free speech channels.
all who follow the Lamb of Yahweh bless you in name. When we awake all we take with us, are the prayers we make from this sleeping dust.